Hey. <laughs> it's my mom right here, my brother. Thank you, huh? They they try to like tell me not to do this stuff for my birthday, but uh, I actually told them to make my schedule hella busy on my birthday. So when I walked through that door, I didn't even remember because I was I thought about all the stuff I gotta do today. Drive and hit it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Go. There's a time where you can celebrate, and there's a time really to like to keep grinding. Oh. <laughs> and this is one of those times. Even if it's my birthday, like that doesn't stop where the draft's gonna be at. It doesn't wait for you. Flick them up, fast arms the whole time. Pop, 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 pop. You know, the dream that you chase for so long is so close. You could take a break after you're done. <laughs> finish. Go finish. Bow. Also in the college football playoff against Notre Dame. This is a choose your own adventure. Freeze it. You're one on one against a corner. What's what are you gonna do? do? Outside, inside, spin, stiff arm. No. Take to the air. Whoa. Whoop in the clouds. Look, Little I even got a shirt about it. This is we're, we're making like a brand. It's crazy because I heard it so much. It's another like little move in my arsenal. I always try to add things in there. I try to have an answer to every situation. In the flat, Najee Harris gets away. Down the sideline, up and over. Who would have thought that was possible? He might run past you, he might run around you. He might stiff arm you, he might run you over, he might jump over you. Uh, you know, you watch his highlight reel and, and you can see that. You're putting defenders in a very tough spot to have to make a quick decision uh, because he's already got his mind made up when he gets to you as to what he's gonna do to you. I'm blessed enough to be in a position where one of my mentors is Marshawn Lynch. He helps me out a lot with everything, really. How to approach certain situations, business propositions, training. He check in with me every now and then and say, like, you good? Like, you need anything? Like, is it stressful and stuff like that? So, you know, it's a whole team, but Marshawn's been in my shoes. So, you know, Marshawn really helps me out a lot. Alabama does it. National championship number 18. After the season, the game was on a Monday. And then the next day, I literally came to Texas and start training, start rehabbing too. Your college career is over with, and now you're working to the NFL. We would train on a normal year for the NFL Combine, and this year that doesn't exist. So now we have to continually prepare for pro day. Now he is pushed all the way out to the end of March, so we can take a little bit more time with him, which is good in a situation like his, particularly where you have a high carry back who played lots of games and had lots of load on his body. For him to be able to come in and get healthy and you know get his ankles, knees, hips, and back and shoulders feeling like they should and being able to turn the corner on that has been a big part of it. Our body naturally reacts and lays down fibrin, which is the tissue, goes through trauma. So we're just trying to break some of that up, get those different layers to slide on each other and have some elasticity. We're just trying to get better quality tissue. And then when you see that develop in an athlete as they are executing on speed training or changing direction, that's when you can really start to see them blossom as an athlete and, and come through with a lot more pop and a lot more power than they have after they come off of a long season like that. Whenever you cross this line, you gotta start thinking about leaning back and hitting the brakes. And then on the other side of that, let's start maximizing some of those things by lifting more and being more mobile. And that's been a big part of it, is him being able to not only be fast off the line, but when he needs to be able to hit the brakes and change direction as well. Your first motion needs to be quicker. Let's go. Right now, it is a heavy week. For the next maybe probably like two weeks, a lot of speed training, a lot of lifting, stuff like that. The stuff I need to work on. We do a lot of stuff. We do catching drills, obviously. We do agility drills, speed drills. We do the cut, one cut and go drills. We do all types of stuff. Cause you gotta work on everything, really. What does a typical week look like for us? If we start on a Monday morning, Najee would have a speed session early in the morning, and uh, that usually lasts about an hour and 15 minutes. This is agility, I think. Like we're working on the uh, five ten fives, L drills, type stuff like that. Yeah. 11.77. I got 11.75. Good rep. He would finish that. He would go to a treatment session. Uh, that usually takes him till late morning. Oh, how many are you putting on? So far we have six. You want me to put 23 for your birthday? Hmm. No, I'm good. You good? Okay. At which point he would leave there and he would go to his lunch break. I gotta go to this other place and do physical or do treatment there. You know, treat a little bit of areas that's kind of like feeling tight in my hamstring and my ankle, kind of dinged up. In no way is it considered a rest break or easy. You know, he's still having to go through it and it, it doesn't always feel good. So, spread it out a little bit, so. Ah, okay, wait, 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 wait. Touch okay. something. I think that was the spot. That was the spot. Yeah, give, give me a minute. Woo. From lunch, he would come back and he has a lifting session. On Wednesdays, we have our dedicated regen day after a short speed session in the morning. And then on Saturdays, we have a speed session in the morning. What time is it? 12.38. 12.38? Time to get a head out. Nah. No. <laughs> and then I gotta go to cryotherapy. 
I know I'm forgetting something, because I know I got hella meetings too. Today's Tuesday, huh? I gotta come to a final decision if I'm going with Nike or Adidas. Inside of all those practices and, and those sessions, he basically has uh, you know, a one hour football practice that's thrown in in the middle of the day. All in all, when you start to look at those across the board, it's about 45 hours per week for the athlete, so it's a full-time job for him. Squeeze your hips, come up. Like core workouts. The last part here for him is to be able to really dial in. His body is now feeling much better and be able to fire as fast as he can, execute on those techniques at full speed, which is a different thing. The longer you hold that position, the lower your power meter starts to drop, right? So you got to get set, get locked in, take that deep breath, be ready to go, and then fuck, and then go. He's got to get in tune with how his body moves, the range of motion that his body has and then be able to stay twitchy and as quick as possible and still put power in the grip. At this point in the process for Najee, we've already laid down all the fundamentals. He has a full understanding of what he needs to do and how he needs to do it because each one of these drills and each one of the things that he's tested in has specific techniques and, and an athlete has to understand you know, how to execute on those techniques. At Exos, we really try to focus on movement, nutrition, mindset, and recovery. So being able to check all four of those boxes for the athlete, and it's a very holistic approach. All those things tying in are what's make it very effective for somebody to go out and then be third party tested like with Pro Days or, or the NFL Combine, and then for the athletes to get great results on top of that. At the end of the day, like when you have a running back who's the same size as a linebacker, 6'2", 230, is agile and catch and do all that stuff too. That automatically separates you from the rest of the pack. When I train, it's just a way where I could free my mind, where I could just like be at peace in a way. You know what I'm saying? Like with all this stuff that I've been through and all the stuff that's going on now, I feel like, you know, training is just a place to do better in the sport and improving all the things, but like really just a peace of mind, like just to get away from the world, I guess.